Hello friends, welcome to another episode of Advanced Excel for VI. I am an Advanced Excel for visually impaired persons. So in this episode, we will be learning about the conditional formatting in MS Excel. For this, I have created already a sheet with some column headings. For example, in first column, name A1, name, date of submission B1, date of submission, time of submission, time C1. of submission, deposit amount, D1. deposit amount, blank E1. Okay. Oh. So, before starting, let me clear you why you should use conditional formatting. What is the duty of con conditional formatting? Basically, conditional formatting is used to look your cell more professional like the way you present your sheet is called conditional formatting how suppose here i have listed some name a1 name this is my first column heading so if i type type a name Blank, a suppose i'm typing my name oh none character so I am typing my name, then I am pressing enter. Enter blank rattle a two. So I am pressing right arrow. Blank b two. So this is the column. Date of submission. B1. Date of submission, right? Blank. So if I type the date or insert the date here, it will just look like. Date edit cell edit six slash twenty two slash twenty twenty escape blank b two. This is the uh, today's date which I have inserted by pressing control plus colon key. Or control plus semicolon key you can say okay but if I want to if I want to or uh, format the date I mean how the date will be shown if I want to check then how can I do this for this we need conditional formatting suppose I need the date will be shown like uh, September 23rd Thursday 2014 like this I'm just giving you an example so to do this you need to choose conditional formatting similarly if I visit the next row the next C2. column C2 time of submission C2. time of submission Blank. so there are uh, varieties of uh, there are various formats of time 1 p.m. 1 colon 00 p.m. 1300 hours like, right so you can able to choose what should your time layout or date layout similarly you can choose the deposit amount layout now i am going to show you how you can do that blank be rattle a blank so let me insert today's date date enter blank 6 slash 22 slash 2022 okay so it's quite tough to understand when Josh says like 6 slash 22 slash 2022 or uh, it says like uh, 7 slash 21 slash 2025 it's quite problem to understand so that's why we need to change the layout of this cell we will do it later before this I'm going to the next and typing the current time to enter the current time you have to use Control plus colon key or control plus shift plus semicolon key. Time edit cell edit seven enter blank seven thirty five p.m. C2. So seven thirty five p.m. It will F look like home colon seven colon three five colon zero zero space p.m. blank escape seven thirty. Right? It, uh, it's a static. It's not dynamic. Okay, it will not change until you uh, change it. Okay. So after that, blank deposit amount. Deposit B1 amount. Blank. Suppose here uh, this person, I mean, I have deposited five hundred rupees. So I'm tapping here. Five zero. Deposit five hundred. D two. This is five hundred. So how can you know that it's five hundred rupees or five hundred dollars or five hundred euros? How can you know? This is the reason, or this is why you should use conditional formatting. I hope. You can understood. Now let's do practically. For this, I'm going Home, to the six slash twenty. Yes, this is the dead cell. So now I'm going to the conditional formatting dialog box by pressing 
control one. Control one. Number tab selected to switch pages. There are two to three tabs. Today we are going to only discuss about number tab. Okay. So number tab which is already selected. Now I'm pressing tab. Category list box date five of Category date. So Excel is automatically understand that the sale contains a date. Excel is smart. Okay. So there are lots of categories available. If I press down arrow, time, time percentage, percentage fraction, fraction 12, scientific. scientific. Okay, so I'm pressing up arrow and choose time, date, date. After that, I'm pressing tab. Type list box star three slash fourteen slash twenty twelve one. This is the type three slash uh, fourteen slash twenty twelve, which means first is mm, then slash, then dd, then slash, then yyyy. This is the format. Month slash date slash year. If I press down arrow. Star Wednesday, March fourteenth, twenty twelve, two of eighteen. Which means. First, it says date, then month, then date. First day, then month, then date, then year. Okay, this is a format, and this is a very useful format. You will get the detailed description of date. So, if you want to choose this, press enter here or you can press tab local location combo box english united states do not change okay button to act i'm clicking on okay button enter wednesday june 22nd 2022 okay date of wednesday june 22nd 2022 now i'm changing the date i am just deleting this Blank. and num lock off num lock on i'm entering another date okay 6, Six slash 15 slash 2025 Enter and blank. Sunday, June 15, 2025. What happened? It will automatically says us the format which we have already set by using conditional formatting. With the help of this, you can easily know the day of the future deaths. Right? So, please press the like button and watch the video. Continue. Next. 7:35 p.m. C2. This is this is the time. Same. I'm going to conditional formatting dialog box by pressing which key. Just let me know into the comment section which shortcut key. Okay. Number tab selected. The switch page. So this is the number tab. Now I'm pressing tab. Category list box custom 12 of 12. So it's um, custom now, but I need to choose time. So I'm pressing up arrow. First time, day, time, 6 of 12, star 130. Time, okay, so I'm pressing tab. Type, list box, star 130, 55 p.m., 1 of 9. 130, 55 p.m. means 1 minute, 30 sec seconds, and 55 milliseconds. Sorry, friends, the, this means 1 hour, 30 minutes, and 55 seconds. After that, 1330 means 13 hours and 30 minutes. 130 p.m. 3 of 9. 130 p.m. means 1, 1 colon 3 0 space p.m. If we don't want to see the seconds, we can choose this option. So I'm choosing this option, then press tab. Local location. Then press OK tab. Okay, button. okay button. I'm clicking enter on OK. Enter. 7:35 p.m. Let's see. Home colon seven colon three five colon zero zero space p.m. Blank escape. 7:35 p.m. C2 blank. So I meant I'm giving the time I again. Enter blank. 7:4 f home colon four zero colon zero space p.m. Blank escape. Okay, somehow it it it's not working properly, but in any case, I think it will work. Please try and let me know into the comment section it will work or not. 500. Now moving to the next and if you are new to this channel please subscribe my channel and share this video with your friends and family also. Okay so come to the next. Next is 500. So here I need to add the Indian rupee sign. How can I add? Similarly I should go to control one number tab number tab 
Then I'm pressing tab. Category list box general one of twelve. So it's general selected. Now I'm pressing down at all. Number two of twelve. Number one thousand currency three of twelve. Currency. Dollar one. So this is the currency. Now I'm pressing tab. Decimal places. Edit spin box two. Test. Two means if you, if your amount is five hundred, then it will show five hundred point zero zero. Okay. If we if we don't want any decimal, then we have to enter Land, land zero. minus dollar one thousand zero minus dollar one symbol combo box symbol dollar to change the select by default it's selected as dollar. I'm choosing INR or Indian rupee. I G M D I I D R I I M three I ills I I N R three hundred sixty eight five hundred. Okay, if I press enter, then it will work. Enter symbol combo box INR symbol. Okay, so decimal places edit spin box zero and blank 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 one INR one thousand two hundred thirty four point zero. Okay, so if you enter the in the decimal places one, then it will announce how it looks like. I'm I'm deleting one blank INR one thousand two hundred thirty four. Okay, friends, I'm very sorry. Uh, you don't need to enter zero. Just leave it. I mean blank it if you don't want to. Oh, Enter the decimal number like 500.00 or 500.01, 02, 03 like this. Okay. So now I am pressing tab. INR symbol. Negative tab. numbers. List box INR 1000. OK button. To I'm clicking on OK space. button. Enter format cells. Microsoft Excel dialog. Your entry cannot be used. An integer or decimal number may be required. OK button. Enter. Okay. So let me try one. Category. List box currency. Three of twelve. Number tab selected. The category. Decimal. End. Blank. 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 INR 1, 1234. Okay. So if you blank this, if you, if in your case it will not work. I don't know. Um. Sometimes I have seen Excel will take the formula without any zero. Sometimes Excel will, Excel will not take the formula. I don't know why. So I'm pressing Enter key. Enter. INR 500 D2. Yes, it works. Seven C. INR 500 D2. If I change it, blank D2. One Z zero zero deposit INR 1000 D2. INR 1000. So if I change it also, it will change, and the sign, the INR sign is here. F2 home Z1 1 Z Z Z blank. Escape. But you will not check by you 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 can't check by pressing F2 key. Okay, so this is the way you can use the conditional formatting. This is very basics. You can easily format your sales. Okay, so uh, now I am going to show you some extra options, some advanced option. You can add more things. So I am going to conditional formatting. Control one. Next tab. Alignment tab select. Alignment tab is used to. Uh, Properly align of your let uh, typings. I mean contents. Horizontal combo box general to change. Horizontal means top to uh, sorry uh, left to right. Horizontal means left to right and vertical means top to bottom. Okay. So general. Indent edit spin Indent box. Indent okay. blank blank zero. Alignment tab select. Horizontal combo horizontal. box. General to change the selection. Use the arrow key. Left indent. Two Left of eight. indent. Center three center, of eight. Right indent. Right four indent. Of Fill five of eight. Right center three of eight. So if you want to center your, uh, if you want to center your typing or your your words of the cell, I mean your words position will be centered of the cell. You have to choose this. So horizontal center and indent edit spin box zero. Indent means this is this is the number 1.4 inches or 2.4 inches whatever you want you can say uh, set it here. Vertical combo box. Vertical. To change the so also vertical I am choosing center. Center two of five. Wrap text check box not check. Wrap text means if your text will be. Uh, over from the cell or it will be out from the cell then Excel will adjust it 
I'm pressing space bar. Space checked. Merge cells check bar. Merge cells I don't need to do right now because merge cells will only work if you want to merge one, two or more cells. Suppose you want to merge from A1 to D1. So you need to select A1 to D1. Then you have to choose this option. So for my case, I don't need to choose this option. I'm pressing tab. Decrease edit spin box zero. Vertical text check box not checked. The check Vertical text. Box. Text direction. Text um, direction. If you wish, you can uh, just explore with this option. Okay. So I'm pressing tab. Okay. But cancel alignment tab select. This is alignment tab. Next. Font tab select. Font tab. I'm not. I'm. I think you can explore yourself. Font tab means you can change the fonts. Okay. Border tab select. Border tab. It's very very important when you print any excel sheet you have to add borders of your cells otherwise the data will be printed on blank page as white okay so i'm pressing tab thin radio button check thin, thin medium dash dot, dot medium dash check. dot dot i mean uh dash then dot dot then dash then dot dot okay <laughs> i can't i can't uh, explain how it look like but uh, in in English especially, but uh, it will like dot 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 dot. Okay, the, all the cells will be bordered dash dot dot. Slanted dash dot Slanted. radio. Medium dash dot radio. Medium dot. Check. Medium dash radio. Medium dash. Check. Medium radio button check. Medium. Okay. Thick radio button thick. check. Double radio button check. Double. Okay. None radio button None. check. None. Hair radio button check. Hair. Dotted radio button check. Dotted. Okay. Dash dot dot radio button check. Dash dot dot. Dash dot radio. Dash radio. Dash button radio button. Check. So okay. I'm I'm choosing dash. Then I'm pressing tab. Color automatic button. To Color automatic. You can if you want you can change. None button. To None button. Press outline button to active. So you have to press outline, which means you need to border the outline. Okay. So space bar here. Space. Color automatic button to activate press. So from here you can choose color. I'm not showing you. None button to act. None. Outline button to act. Outline button. Left check box checked. The clear check mark press space. So left, it's checked. Please um, make sure all the sides will be checked. Top check box checked. Top the checks. Bottom check box checked. Bottom checked. checks. Right check box right checked. Checks. Diagonal down check box not checked. Don't check need to do this. Diagonal up check OK button to activate so I'm pressing press space bar. Enter oh, on OK button. Enter. INR1. Now the cell will uh, have a border. Now the cell have a border. Okay. So this is all about conditional formatting. Though there are uh, one or two fe more features available. I am not expanding this video anymore. So if you want to know more, let me know into the comment section. I will definitely try try, try to make a new video. Okay, friends. So this is for today. See you in the next video. Till then, share the video, like the video and stay with us. Join our telegram channel and also you can join our telegram group. The link is the video description box. Thank you for watching this video till the end. This is Ratul signing off.